What made us move to EVs was really a recognition that our generation had done more than anybody else to ruin the planet really for subsequent generations. I'd moved from diesel to petrol some years ago and the next step is moving to the electric vehicles that also give us the performance that we need because we travel, we have children at either end of the uh, country, um, but also do their bit towards the sustainability of the planet. I had a diesel car because I tow trailers, sheep trailer, and I was waiting until the power in the EVs came up to the level that I could tow a trailer. So it's now reached that level, so we were both comfortable to make, it, make the switch. When we were looking to, to buy a charger, we had to consider our situation, which was two EV cards. So we were looking for a dual output charger. The CTEC one gave us the functionality we were looking for. Uh, particularly load balancing, which is something that you have to consider when you've got two vehicles. Uh, in addition to that, we were looking for a, a reliable product and a well-designed product and offering an app that allowed you to configure the charger so that you could control when the charging took place and you could fit it in with your lifestyle. And it also has significant safety features that protect your house electric circuits. So all of those features gave us the confidence to make the choice for CTEC. The things I look for in an EV charger is something that you're happy to pass on to the customer. Um, there's got to be a level of simplicity of use for it, there's got to be a build quality for it. Also an easy installation for us because the last thing we want to be doing is piecing loads of parts together and you kind of want some of that works out the box. The things I like about the CTEC charger is that the overall build quality is very, very solid. There's a lot of interchangeable parts in there, so you know that if you do have a failure, you're going to be able to replace something and get it working without having to wait for something to come in on a you know, container from somewhere and, and things like that. It's quite easy to configure, uh, although there are a lot of options on there, there are kind of the general ones where for a homeowner, you, you just go into that section, you make your settings and then that's it, you're connected to the internet, off you go. Well, the load balance inside of the CTEC unit is um, very good. If you're the kind of family where there's five, six people in the house, the kids are home from school from um, three o'clock, everything's on in the house. You know, they're the times when, possibly when you're on a restricted supply, you know, if you've got a 60 or an 80 amp incoming supply into the property, the load, the load management is essential. You can kind of schedule it to come on when the house is quietened down and it's just a TV on and things like that, and you can just let the charger take care of everything. <laughs>